Zakvaruch, good morning, Abotai. Uh, when, with regards to Kriyat Megillah at night and during the day, many times uh, there are distractions, or a person can maybe lose focus, fall asleep, whatever it is. We know the Bet Yosef quotes the Iran and the Rashba that says that that say that if a person misses even one word of hearing Megillah Tester, he's not yet say the Chova. So what does a person do in situations like that? The Megillah is quite long, and if a person doesn't keep focused the entire time, it's very possible he won't be able to say. What can you do if a person falls asleep, loses focus, spaces out? What should a person do? La if a person has a Megillah Kshira, if a person has a handwritten Klaf Megillah in front of him, that's great. He can read along from there those words that he missed or the Psukim that he missed, and he's perfectly fine. But the Chidush is that even if a person does not have a kosher Megillah, even if a person has a printed Megillah or a Chumash or whatever it is, over there you're allowed to read the words or the Psukim or even the Prakim that you missed from within the non-kosher, the printed Megillah, because the Allah is that you're allowed to read up to half of the Megillah by heart. So this is not considered any worse than by heart. And then once you catch up quickly, for instance, happens a lot. There's noise, whatever. You tell somebody to be quiet. And then, as a result, you miss a few words, you miss a few psukim. You read those psukim very quickly, then catch up to the shliach tzibur, be quiet again, and listen to him, at which point you're perfectly yotzei the chova. Same thing if a person comes late to the Megillah. He sees there are a few psukim in already, or even a perik in. Quickly let him make the brachot to himself. Read the first few psukim, or the first perik of the Megillah that, he, that he's uh, late to. Let him quickly read it, catch up to the shliach tzibur, and then be quiet, and he is yotzei the mitzvah in that manner. Yom tov.